With one roll of the dice, P. Diddy shoots it all away. One million dollars. It's a big price to pay for fame. So this week, P. Diddy made the news again, not for a music video, not for a big, huge charity event, because he lost one million dollars. How do you do that? Playing craps. He was craps. shooting craps with some guys. He lost a hundred million dollars at the roll of the dice. And instead of having a normal, normal reaction, which most people would have, like, oh, shut, suicidal, I lost, or like whatever, <laughs> my house, whatever. <laughs> He, uh, he wrote an IOU to the person, gave it to him, and said, I don't give a shit. Suck my dick, bitch. And God, it must be nice. Yeah, it did must he be really re say that? He really did. It's on video. And since then, there's been some uh, minor backlash, growing backlash, about, you know, understandably, uh, his fans or people that are just right. upset with him because he seems to be pissing away a million dollars. And, crapping you know, away. Crapping away a million dollars. <laughs> Apparently, the song has now changed from Mo Money, Mo Problems to Mo Money, No Problems because <laughs> he does he not does, care. He does not care. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Where was he playing this game of craps, anyway? I don't know. You don't know. It was just mm -hmm. on the street somewhere. It's on the street somewhere. Um, I, I think it might be a PR stunt. It That's backfired. Be, it has, well, it's definitely backfired, but there's a, a lot of other rappers, rap stars like The Game was in the news this week because he uh, vowed to give away, give away $1 million to people who really needed it. So there was a, a tragedy that happened last week in California and well, he paid for funeral expenses for a little girl. And there's well, some other stuff. Good. Yeah, that's good. That's no. good. That's so I not think this like... is P. Diddy's way of trying to jump on the bandwagon. You're doing it the wrong way, yeah, honey. Yeah, no. <laughs> Don't give to somebody playing craps on the street. Well, maybe the other person really needed it. Oh, uh, right. I mean, maybe his family was really yeah, down did, and out. He did help one person out. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, we'll see if he pays it, though. I mean, come on. He might be like, no, it's illegal, and therefore it's null and void. Yeah, and that'll just get so, him to use more. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. Uh, well, anyway. sorry, we'll find out. Well, since Harry Styles and Taylor Swift are never, ever getting back together, Harry is ready to move on. Okay, so we all know about how Harry Styles and Taylor Swift dated about, um, a year, well, like last December. Thanks to Taylor Swift. Um, thanks to Taylor writing. Swift. Well, thanks to the news and every picture. She hasn't written a song about me. I actually can't well, wait to hear it. I thought that one where she said, I knew you were in trouble. No, like, oh, she, she wrote back that, together. that album. No, because that's all I like. That album came out in October. They didn't start dating until December. Maybe she's psychic. November, probably. Well, I'm psychic. You're psychic. I'm psychic. How are you psychic? I was talking to my friend. This was like a week ago. Because uh -huh. we had just seen the One Direction movie because we're... 12. 12. <laughs> and um, I was thinking to myself, because I'm I obviously need a life, and I was, I was just sitting there thinking one day, and I was like, how cute would it be if Cara Delevingne and Harry Styles started dating? They always are both rocking the beanies, they're both very goofy, right. very fun-loving, and they're both British, and they're both adorable, and I'm like, that'd be so cute. And I actually told her, I was like, 10 bucks says, these two get it, you know, get together. And then I was just sitting on my computer yesterday, and I Googled Harry Styles, Cara Delevingne, and then Google filled it in for me, like, the dating part. Right. And then I said, enter. And then it was literally, like, five hours later, like, all these gossip sites had posted, like, they were seen together at the theater. He took her to see B Book of Mormon in London. And okay. they're apparently, according <coughs> to onlookers, very comfortable with each There's other. There's Mormons in London now? Like, everywhere. <laughs> Cozy. Everywhere. And, um, and apparently they had dated, like, a year ago. So, what the... Oh, so it's yeah, yeah, so what the, the story seems to be is that they start a thing whenever they're in the same city together, but they've never been able to make it official because they have such crazy lives and crazy schedules, but a, a, apparently a Harry is crazy about this girl right? Um, and trying to chase after her, but she's like, she's not as into him as he apparently is into her. Uh -huh. It's more like a celebrity um, booty call. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what it yeah. sounds like. Yeah, but I mean, I have hope. I think they would be adorable together. Well, let's, maybe they'll have kids. A yeah. bunch of dorky little gorgeous kids. That works for... We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Dina Lohan gets picked up for a DUI. Apparently it's impossible for all the Lohans to be sober at once. Okay, well my story is about Dina Lohan and Woo! she's in the news again. She is Lindsay's crazy mom. Now, she was recently, Thursday I think, was uh, arrested for a DUI in, I think she was in Long Island, she was in New York somewhere, and uh, she was doing 77 in a 55, and they pulled her over, and turns out she was drunk. Surprise! What a Surprise! Shocker. Hello. 
She oh. was more than two times the legal limit. Oh, wow. Which is she's really... She's trying to compete with Lindsay. No, I think she's drinking for Lindsay because now <laughs> Lindsay is sober and she's actually really committed to being sober, which is great for the first time. She's a sober coach that costs her $2,500 a day. She just recently wow. gave I'll up... I'll do it. Yeah, hello. Slap that drink out of your hand. Don't drink that. No. That's mine. Thank you. Uh, and then she also just recently gave up a gig that they wanted to pay her $30,000 just to show up to a club appearance. But she's like, I can't because her sobriety's on the line. So it's nice that she's really, really focused. But now her mom is like, I don't have a drinking buddy. I don't know. What's the deal? Like, you know what? It, it is a shame. I think her mom is def definitely setting a bad example. But, you know, they haven't, she's never really set a good example. So the expectations for the, her mother can't be too high. Mm -hmm. But it seems it's really good that Lindsay's hope that you know, hopefully she stays focused. Oprah really just had an effect on her. Yeah. And like kept her clean for now. So And she had that 90 you know. day rehab that she was court ordered to do. I'm which... less worried about Lindsay because now the public eyes on her, but I'm more uh, worried about her younger sister who hasn't been in the news lately, but she showed signs of some rockiness. So, you know, we'll, well last time I saw her, she looked completely different and they were like saying that she had a lot of plastic surgery and she looked wow. Did you like ten? <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, that's when they start. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> All right. That's, I just, you know, we're definitely going to see more about this, obviously, but hopefully I Lindsay wait. stays on the sober track. Go, Lindsay. Oh. You can do it. Yes. <laughs> well, let's stick around because we're going to do our hottie of the week and we've got some sexy mother effers for you. No, we're not. We're going to do our Blue Michael Cosmetics hottie of the week. You are so Ow. right. Blue Michael <laughs> sponsors us. All right. So stick around after the jump. We'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Next up, our Hottie of the Week. 